Hello, I'm Amara Jones and welcome to Caffeine TV, your daily video news brief. Here to take you through three headline numbers in just three minutes, giving you a different take on everything from housing policy to the real housewives. I got my treats ready, but you know what? They're always ready. The first number up today is three as in three feet. Now that's the distance that Maine Governor Paula Page wants. Nurse Hickox, I can't believe that I can still say that with a straight face, to maintain from other people during the 21 day incubation period that's possible for the Ebola virus. Now, Nurse Hickox is the first healthcare worker to be quarantined under the various rules issued by the various governors for healthcare workers returning back to the United States from Africa where they've treated Ebola patients. And Nurse Hickox was thrown by Chris Christie into a plastic tent without a working toilet, but that didn't work out so she was sent back to her home state of Maine where she's steadily set about violating her quarantine rules with bike rides and the like, saying that those rules are bogus, motivated more by politics than public health. Now, when it comes to quarantine though, it really is hard to figure out who to listen to. That's because no one's speaking with one voice. The federal government says one thing and then the military says another, and then each of the governors say different things still. And as the New York Times points out yesterday, the governors who've issued these rules, almost all of them are in tight electoral races. And so this may all be a bid to save their seats rather than save our lives. So on Halloween today, I have to say that the scariest thing about Ebola in the United States so far is not necessarily the virus, it's the reaction to it. The next number up today is 46 as in 46 percent. Now, as a part of our second installment of our three-part series on Senate races to watch in advance of the election next week, we turn to North Carolina where Real Clear Politics says that Senator Kay Hagan, the Democratic incumbent, might capture 45 percent of the vote next week, but that just puts her in a tie with her Republican challenger, Tom Tillis, who's Speaker of the House in North Carolina. Now, North Carolina is interesting because Obama won the state and he was the first person to do so since Jimmy Carter, the first Democrat since Jimmy Carter back in 1976. But since then, there's been a backlash against Obama in the state, and Republicans have captured basically every single statewide office you can think of, but it passed all these rules that make, basically make it a crime to be poor, like against unemployment insurance and food assistance. So now there's been a backlash against that backlash where progressives have organized there and have so much energy where they turn out thousands of people each Monday to protest in front of the state capitol for something called Moral Mondays. But now the Republicans are now backlashing again and have passed all these voter suppression rules to try to keep all that new energy from showing up at the polls. And if Democrats, though, somehow manage to hold on to the seat in North Carolina, it might be a roadmap for the way progressives can win across the South. But if it's that good, maybe they just want to turn it over to the government for Ebola. The last number up today is 499, as in the number of Fortune 500 CEOs that are now straight, given the fact that Tim Cook yesterday came out as gay. Yep, Tim Cook says that uh, coming out as a part of social justice and he wants to be a part of that and he wants to put his brick in the road and so he's finally come out. Now, like a lot of people, I initially was like, well, what's the big deal? But actually it is because Apple is the largest company in the world. Its profits are larger than most of the GDP of many countries around the world. And in 70 nations in the world, around the globe, being gay and lesbian is illegal and in some cases, punishable by death. And so the truth of the fact is that Tim Cook coming out is a big deal and it's something to celebrate and might have reverberations for years to come in places that we can't even fathom.